The Darwin Awards have delighted us with tales of human evolution gone wrong since the late 1990s. These awards, which honor individuals who improve our gene pool by removing themselves from it, are a great way to laugh at some of the most ridiculous ways people die. The candidate's foolishness must be unique and sensational, as the award is intended to be funny. The Darwin Awards are a lighthearted way of honoring those who have made an extraordinary contribution to humanity by dying in the most ridiculous, amusing, and downright silly ways. Every year, tales of individuals who meet their end through foolish behavior or sheer luck are shared, immortalizing them for all eternity as the best Darwin Award winners. And in today's video, we will explore some of the most embarrassingly stupid ways people died and received Darwin Awards. Hello everyone, welcome to WOW! Amazing! In this video, we will go through the top 10 most stupid official Darwin Award winners. But before we begin, we would like you guys to subscribe to WOW! Amazing! And hit the notification bell, so you do not miss out on amazing and entertaining content that will surely get you amazed. Oh, and by the way, watch this video till the very end, and you will be rewarded with a very special bonus candidate who did something so stupid that he received the Darwin Award without even dying. So, let's begin. From blatantly stupid people to actual geniuses, these are some of the most embarrassing ways people have died. Number 10. The Stab Proof Jacket In August 2006, a 33-year-old Darren was found slumped in the hallway of his house, bleeding from wounds. Initial police investigation assumed that someone had attacked him, but no evidence supported the investigation. It turned out that Darren had called a friend that day. Minutes after he rang off, he immediately called him back to ask for an ambulance. The emergency responders said the front door was slightly opened, and Darren was lying near a blood-stained lock knife. Further investigations saw no evidence of a struggle, and the autopsy reported that the stab wounds seemed to be self-inflicted. However, Darren had it all, a promising career and a loving family, and had shown no prior tendencies toward harmful behavior. A year later, it was finally revealed why Darren could stake his claim to the front bench of the Darwin Awards. His wife was able to clear up the matter by revealing that Darren always wondered whether his new jacket was stab-proof or not. Yup, you heard us right. Darren, alone and bored, decided to check if his jacket was stab-proof whilst he was wearing it. Sadly, his jacket proved to be less stab-proof than he had hoped. The coroner reached a verdict of accidental death by misadventure. Unfortunately, our subject died before he could test whether his pants were stab-proof. I wonder how that would have turned out. Number 9. Killed by his own booby trap A senior citizen with a grudge against his family whose wife divorced him and whose kids abandoned him. Louis Dethy was a retired engineer and was known for his mechanical ingenuity, but he is best remembered for a contraption that ultimately led to his own demise. His mom had willed his home, which she had financed, to one of his daughters intending to kill or maim his family when they came to claim the house that he loved and built. He transformed his home into a death trap. He used fishing wire to rig more than a dozen concealed shotguns to common household items. However, the poor man became victim to one of his own booby traps. He accidentally triggered one of his own traps and fired a shotgun blast right in his neck, making him bleed to death. Police investigators initially assumed that he had chosen to do this to himself and they only discovered the truth when a detective was nearly killed opening a cabinet. It took police more than three weeks to find the rest of the booby traps. Number 8. The Unbreakable Office Windows Gary Hoy, a lawyer from Toronto, Canada, was remembered and held in high esteem by many of his colleagues. He was known for being passionate about the law and fighting for justice. One noteworthy incident that has gone down in history is the time he died while proving to some visiting law students that his office windows were unbreakable. He threw himself against the window to prove his point, only to have it give way and fall out of the 24th floor office building. According to his co-workers, he would often perform this stunt to impress visitors but would usually bounce off the glass. As tragic as this incident is, Gary Hoy will always be remembered for his dedication and passion for law. In memory of Gary Hoy, a bronze bust was placed in the lobby of the Toronto Dominion Centre, where his office was located. His lasting legacy is one that remains with us today and serves as an example of how far one passionate lawyer can go to prove himself right. Number 7. The Niagara Falls Jet Ski Jumper In 1995, a daring daredevil, Robert, decided to do the unprecedented and ride his jet ski off Niagara Falls. It might sound stupid, but Robert had a solid plan. 
He had fitted his jet ski with a rocket booster and was also carrying a parachute. So, when the moment came, Robert fired up the rocket and accelerated toward the edge of the falls. The thing is, the water's notorious for making things well, wet. So as soon as he hustled into the waterfall, Robert ran into an unexpected problem his completely soaked rocket booster failed to ignite. And as he fell, he couldn't deploy the parachute. The wetness of the falls had rendered it completely useless, much to Robert's chagrin. In a desperate attempt to save himself from certain doom, Robert did what any self-respecting daredevil would do, he yelled YOLO, as he plummeted towards inevitable disaster. Number 6. Killing Wasps with Vacuum Cleaner and Raid James thought he was a genius. He had a powerful Dirt Devil vacuum cleaner in one hand, and in the other, he held a can of Raid insecticide. He felt like an invincible warrior arm to take on the pesky wasp nest that had made his life difficult for weeks. Muttering something along the lines of die, pests. James unleashed the full power of the vacuum cleaner onto the nest. The wasps buzzed angrily and tried to fight against the wind tunnel, but it was all for naught. But James still needed to finish his mission. He then decided to take things up a notch by spraying Raid into the open end of the vacuum tube. The wasps, now dazed and confused by the insecticide, had no chance against this masterfully orchestrated attack. Mission accomplished. James had successfully gotten rid of the pesky wasp nest with his trusty Dirt Devil vacuum and some good old raid. But he still needed to realize the consequences of his action. As soon as the insecticide met with the heat generated by the vacuum motor, an explosion ensued and filled the entire room with a thick cloud of poisonous dust. Although James' experiment didn't entirely turn out the way he expected it to, it will undoubtedly be remembered as an entertaining tale of a young scientist. So, from now on, let this be a lesson. Never mix aerosol sprays and vacuum cleaners. Number 5. Europe's Most Macho Man Krzysztof Asninski was an ordinary Polish farmer until he decided to prove his masculinity with a bizarre self-decapitation stunt. In the spring of 1995, Krzysztof and a few friends were hanging out and drinking beer. After a few drinks, they set on to prove who was the manliest of the lot. The men dared each other to get naked, all complied. They were all farmers, so the contest turned into hitting each other over the head with frozen turnips. Whoever could handle the most hits was the most macho. Finally, one of them, tired of his friend's amateur displays of manliness, brought out a chainsaw and cut off the end of his own foot. Kristoff, not impressed by his friend, grabbed the chainsaw and slung it at his head, dying on the spot. Kristoff's untimely demise is a cautionary tale about the allure of proving oneself invincible and indestructible, and a reminder that actions have consequences. Kristoff is now remembered as the macho man who paid the ultimate sacrifice for his ego and stupidity. But his story lives on in the Darwin Awards as a reminder to all of us that there is nothing heroic about taking extreme risks, no matter how macho you think you are. So, let this be a lesson. If you ever find yourself tempted to prove your machismo by cutting off your head, consider the consequences because Krzysztof Asninski already made that mistake for you. Let us all take a moment to salute the memory of this brave, if misguided, Polish farmer and his story as a reminder to make safer choices in life. Number 4. Terrorist opens his own letter bomb. Chiron Ayet, a notorious Iraqi terrorist, had been operating for years. Little did he know that his decision to skimp on postage on one of his letter bombs would be the death of him. The package was sent back with the words return to sender written across it. Kai opened it and boom, he was blown away. His attempt to save a few bucks on postage ultimately cost him his life and earned him a Darwin Award for being the prime example of natural selection in action. The lesson here. If you're going to send letter bombs, and please don't, double check that you've used enough postage on them. And don't forget to address the envelope it may make all the difference. Number 3. The Ski Resort Thief David Monk, a 46-year-old British man was vacationing in the Italian Alps with a group of friends. After having a couple of beers, the lads decided to steal a mat that covered the metal barriers at the bottom of the slope and use it as a sledge to ski on. So, the group hiked up the hill, hurled themselves downwards, and slammed right into the very same barrier they had stolen the protective covering from. According to reports by local authorities and witnesses, David died on the spot due to severe injuries to his head and body. Emergency crews responded quickly to the scene of the accident but were unable to save Monk. He was pronounced dead at the scene, earning himself a Darwin Award in the process. Number 2. Jumping over an open drawbridge 
this winner might have a special place in the Darwin Awards Hall of Fame, but perhaps it should be in the Guinness World Records. It involves a man who was determined to impress his friends with a daring stunt, jumping over an open drawbridge. Unfortunately for him, he timed it wrong and ended up going splat on the concrete below. The drawbridge was open to allow boat traffic through, and the man who shall remain nameless decided to take advantage of this fact by attempting a daring leap over it. He made a running start and jumped with all his might, unfortunately misjudging the timing of the bridge closing. Rather than soaring over the bridge, he flew right into the steel grate that was rapidly descending. He was rushed to the hospital and pronounced dead on arrival. It's a tragedy but also an amazing feat of bad timing and a great reminder of why we should always think twice before attempting any outrageous stunts. What could have been a fantastic story of success became a warning to us all about the dangers of being careless. Number 1. Don't rob a gun store. We are not asking you to commit a robbery, but if you ever get the urge to do so, please avoid robbing a gun store as this young American in 1990 did. He chose a gun store, yes you heard us right, he chose to rob a gun store, and cherry on top, a police car was parked directly outside. The store was crowded with armed Americans who loved guns and were looking for a reason to use them. At the counter, a cop in uniform was enjoying a cup of coffee while talking to the clerk. If you have not played enough Grand Theft Auto games, let us tell you that the gun store clerks are always armed while on duty. But the young robber was not playing to back down. He pulled out his pistol and announced it was a robbery, glanced at the police officer, and fired. The cop and the clerk pulled out their firearms and shot the man dead. Now let's come to the bonus winner, who might or might not be the stupidest of the lot, but he certainly is the luckiest one. Bonus winner. Man tries to recreate the movie up and is successful. On July 2, 1982, Larry Walters of San Pedro, California, made a statement that some might consider an ambition gone awry. While most people look to the skies with hopes of achieving something greater than themselves, Larry had a slightly different vision he wanted to experience what it was like to fly above his own backyard. Armed with 45 helium-filled weather balloons, a lawn chair, and an oxygen tank, Walters secured the aforementioned items to his body. Then, after cutting himself free from the rope that had been anchoring him to the ground all this time, Larry began his ascent into the sky. What started as a dream soon turned into a problem. As Larry soared higher and higher, he quickly realized he could not control his altitude. Instead, he was at the mercy of the winds, eventually reaching a height of 16,000 feet. As if this wasn't enough for poor Larry, what went up didn't come down. After floating above Los Angeles for two hours, Larry was eventually rescued by the authorities who had been tracking his journey. Although Larry did not die performing this stunt, it earned him a Darwin Award in 1993 for this feat of human ingenuity and stupidity. These stories and more have been immortalized as amazing examples of why we shouldn't do stupid things, lest we intend to end up like this year's best Darwin Award winner. That's it for today's video. Tell us down in the comments which of these deaths was the stupidest, and do you know any other Darwin Award winner that deserves to be on this list? And guys wait right here. You are missing an essential step. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. Also, subscribe to WOW! Amazing! And press the bell icon so you are one of the first ones to get wowed every time we upload a new video.